Hi everybody, my name is Andrea Bucket. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm very excited to be with you to share with you one of our favorite family recipes. It's a weeknight meatloaf. Of course, I always love to have beef on hand as a staple ingredient because it's chocked full of protein and easily absorbable zinc and iron, which is great for the immune system. Of course, we love to support our Canadian farmers, of which there are 60,000 Canadian ranchers across the country. So let's get to the recipe, a weeknight meatloaf. I love meatloaf during the week because it's easy to throw together. You can really put any flavorings you want into it and it turns out delicious. But there are some tips I'm going to give you to keep it nice and moist. In my bowl here, we're going to start with two pounds of lean ground beef. Now, the first tip I have for you to keep it moist is this. We're going to start with one slice of white bread. Now, this could be bread, it could be like a leftover hamburger bun, it could be a hot dog bun, whatever you have on hand. Uh, you could use a whole wheat piece of bread as well. That works just fine. We're just gonna rip it up here into little pieces. And then we are going to pour in some milk. So I've got my 2% milk here, it's about half a cup. You could easily use 1% milk, or if you only had cream or half and half, you could definitely use that and would just make it a little bit richer, which is also okay. While we get our other ingredients going, I'm just gonna let this sit and let that bread absorb the milk. The second thing I like to do to add moisture to my meatloaf is an onion. We're not gonna chop it up though, we're going to grate it on a box grater um, so it adds moisture and flavor. So you're simply going to use your box grater and get in there and grate it. Now you don't wanna to get too close because this can get a little bit messy and you could do it right into the bowl as well. That's about as far as I'm gonna be able to take it. And then we're just gonna get rid of this. And then you can see, I have some on my grater here as well. We're just gonna get that quickly into the bowl. And for that, I like to use my bench scraper and get that in. So you can imagine that is going to add a ton of flavor and moisture as well to this meatloaf. So let's go in with the rest of the seasonings. Okay, dry mustard is a must. Mustard is a must. Uh, you could also use plain prepared mustard as well. About a teaspoon of that goes in here. Garlic powder, we're going to go in with a teaspoon of garlic powder. I love dried thyme leaves for this, and so we're going to use two teaspoons of dried thyme leaves. And that's about all the seasonings you need, but you do need a little bit of salt here. So if you like more salt, you can add more salt, but I'm gonna put in about half a teaspoon. Okay, another great ingredient that I love to put in my meatloafs, which is a Canadian ingredient, is oats. I know a lot of people like to use breadcrumbs as filler, but I like to reach for oats because of course they have uh, fiber and lots of great qualities. So we're just gonna pop those oats right in there. Another great flavor agent for meatloaf is Worcestershire. It has umami flavors in it, and it really brings out the best flavors of beef. So I always add Worcestershire to my meatloaf. So that was about two tablespoons. Of course, we're gonna add a little bit of an egg here to help bind everything together. So when you're at the grocery store, when you're looking to buy beef or cuts of beef, um, it's easy to pick out what you want because everything is categorized in terms of how you're going to cook it. So you've got grilling steaks, you've got marinating steaks, you've got fast fry steaks. Uh, and the way they categorize it at the grocery store is so the consumer can go and look at what they want and pick it out easily and go home and cook it. So that's, that's great. Ketchup. Are you a lover of ketchup? We are lovers of ketchup in this house. And the ketchup helps to add a little bit of sweetness to this recipe. We have lots of savory um, spices in there and the ketchup is just going to help to balance out the savory with a little bit of sweet. Okay, so our milk has mostly been absorbed into that bread and the bread, you're gonna just use your fingers here to break it up even more. And we're gonna put it right into this mixture here. You wanna break it up because you don't wanna have big hunks of bread. You want to make sure that that moisture is going to be evenly distributed throughout your beef. All right, so that's it. That's all the flavorings that go into that and we're going to mix it up. You also wanna make sure you preheat your oven to 350 degrees. But I'm gonna tell you, there's nothing better than getting your hands in here. It's a great thing to get the kids involved in. 
Also, if you're going to go to all the trouble of making a great meatloaf, sometimes it's great just to go ahead and double the recipe right from the beginning. And you can cook them both at the same time and then you can freeze one for later or you can use one and slice it up for sandwiches during the week. So off the top, I told you guys that there are over 60,000 cattle ranchers across this amazing country of ours and they do really work so hard to provide us with delicious, nutritious and safe products. Cool fact about cattle is that they spend almost nine hours a day eating. That's a lot of time eating. Uh, and the majority of their life is spent grazing on grass. Okay, so this is almost mixed. You don't wanna over mix this. You just wanna make sure that all the ingredients are incorporated thoroughly. And as you can see, it really takes no time to put together a meatloaf. Also, you may or may not know that Canada is known around the world for some of the greatest beef. Uh, we produce some of the greatest beef around the world. Uh, and a lot of ours goes to United States, Mexico, and Japan. So it's revered worldwide for its quality and flavor. Okay, so that's it. Now I'm going to prepare a baking dish here. And this is just a nine by five loaf pan. This is a nonstick loaf pan, but I always like to use my friend parchment paper here. And in order to get it into the pan seamlessly, I like to just cut the corners on each corner. And that is going to help my parchment paper sit in my pan, just like that. So it just helps the corners sit evenly. Perfect, just like that. All right, so now let's get our meat in there. We're just gonna take it, I'm just going to, I'm gonna put it in by hand here. You could dump it in all in one shot. And the parchment paper will just help release the meatloaf at the end. Okay. You wanna make sure you evenly distribute the meatloaf. Get it all in, and this is gonna make quite a large meatloaf, which is okay for me. I serve three adult men. My boys are 18 and 22, and they are really excited about eating this tonight. So we're getting it in there. Like I said, we preheated our oven to 350 degrees, and this will take close to an hour and a half to cook completely through. You're looking for the beef, if you're looking for a temperature, should be at 160 degrees Fahrenheit when it's done. So that's the easy way to know when your meatloaf is done. It's gonna pop down here. So we're gonna get that into the oven, and when we come back, I'm going to show you what it looks like and what we serve it with. One final thing I like to do 30 minutes before the meatloaf comes out of the oven is to mix together two tablespoons of ketchup and two tablespoons of brown sugar. And we are going to stir that just until the brown sugar begins to dissolve. And we are going to brush this over the top, or we can pour it over the top of the meatloaf and put it back in the oven for about 30 minutes until it's completely cooked. So there we have it. Our meatloaf is fully cooked. It smells delicious. I cannot wait to dig into this. There are lots of ways you could serve this meatloaf. I'm gonna just serve it up simply tonight with some boiled potatoes and some green beans. You could definitely slice a piece and fry it and put it on a sandwich that would be equally as delicious. In fact, this is great as a leftover sandwich as well. So let's cut a piece of this meatloaf and serve it up. We're just gonna take a nice, thick slice from this end here. Oh, and I just love that ketchup topping. Look how beautiful and moist that is. The perfect meatloaf any day of the week. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe as much as I do. Thanks for having me and happy cooking.